All right, so welcome back to the channel. Today we will be revisiting our colony that we have up on Duna. And we don't have an official way to actually get back and forth from Duna to Kerbin. So today we will be building and implementing one of the crafts that I have planned to tackle that. And that is gonna be an SSTO. I will also be building a shuttle at a later time and I'll also I'll be making a video on that so uh, definitely subscribe so you'll know when that comes out. That will be for transferring a higher number of Kerbals back and forth more efficiently is this isn't going to be able to hold too many as you can see but it'll work and I just haven't really messed around with SSTOs yet too much in KSP2, so we will go ahead and change that today. But we're going to go ahead and finish off this build. Uh, that's pretty much it. We're going to add some finishing touches here. I do end up adding a ladder that you're not going to see, but I don't even get to use that anyways. I did try to land this on the surface of Duna but it just didn't work out. So we're gonna leave it at that and go ahead and throw it on the runway and see how it does. Alright, so after a successful flight and circularization around Kerbin, we are now in low Kerbal orbit. And we just have one problem. We are a little low on fuel. So to rectify that problem, I'm going to go ahead and hop over, hop back into the VAB and design a little, little fuel tank remotely guided fuel tank that we can launch up into orbit around Kerbin and rendezvous with our SSTO so we can give it enough fuel to make it out to Duna. We'll go ahead and skip right to the to the rendezvous with the SSTO. Go ahead and get it refueled up and begin planning our maneuver out to Duna. Uh, so one thing I will add, this is actually a completely new save file than what you saw previously in the series. I, following the recent patch, the third patch, I went ahead and I just remade everything and I relaunched everything. It was a little tedious, but it's best to start with a fresh save file once a new patch comes out. So I wanted to do that and it did take a little bit of time, but I went ahead and remade everything and got everything back into position. And I was actually able to get everything placed on the surface uh, together, which I didn't have in the, my previous save file. I, I planned on doing that, but I just hadn't yet. So in this one, if you're wondering why things look a little different, there's some paint jobs here and there. and. Uh, on the space station, I don't know if you you catch it, but it's got a uh, a booster that has not been seen in the in its episode because I did do things a little differently, but it all worked out. We got it all remade and deployed 
But back to the mission at hand, we are working on a rendezvous with the space station. Um, I pretty much skipped out here to the space station, being that this is the seventh episode, and pretty much every other episode features a flight out to Duna. I figured I'd go ahead and skip it on this one. But we are here at the space station where we're going to go ahead and get this thing docked up. And it's going to be here parked until later episodes. Um, I actually did try to land this on Duna, but I had a ton of problems. I think I said earlier in the video, so if it wasn't just my quick saves be not working, you know, I'd load into a quick save and Kraken would get me or just literal parts of the craft would just start flying off. But we are at our dock here. We got everything positioned, ready to go. This video is going to be a little shorter. I did have a lot of fun making this video, but SSTOs require a ton of testing and just a lot of tweaks, little tweaks here and there, you know, to fine tune things and get them really stable. So this video took a lot of time despite it being one of the shorter videos. The patch definitely helped in regards to that, but it still wasn't perfect for me. And I think we're a long ways from it being perfect, so I'm not going to expect it to be. But for now, that is all I have for you. As always, I really appreciate you watching. Uh, my channel's been growing, and I have you guys to thank for that, so thanks. And until my next video, which won't be too long, I have a lot planned for this series, as well as I will also be releasing videos on other flights and missions, so you got that to look forward to as well. But anyways, I could go on forever, so be sure to like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.